Hey there, Russian fanatics! How the hell is everyone doing? I am doing marvelous. And all that hope, jazz. Anyway, earlier this morning has been announced that Brock Lesnar will be on a cover for the upcoming W2K17. It will be released this fall. Are you hyped up? Are you glad that Brock Lesnar is on a cover or you could care less? I love your opinions down below. Now he's on a cover for the first time since Here Comes the Pain. Okay? That was many, many years ago. It seemed like it. You know what I'm saying? But video games for wrestling has changed over the years. They're getting better and better with the graphics. Okay, and of course, probably Brock Lesnar is very happy with this news because he'll get more money in his damn pocket. Like he really needs extra money. But that's just my opinion. Okay, W2K17 is already seeing a ton of pre-release hype after it announced Goldberg an uh, uh, addition to the roster Monday morning saw 2K, 2K Sports continue the billing by releasing the game cover which featured crossover star Brock Lesnar trying to do like Paul Heyman but I am not no Paul Heyman everyone knows that but this is a badass commercial if you have not seen it by now, look it up. It is freaking awesome. Okay. This is what Paul Heyman said. Uh, Brock Lesnar is W2K17 cover of athletic, athletic. Get all the details on W2K17. I mean, sorry, W2K.com slash news slash w 2 k 17. Now the cover is a badass. I think it's awesome. Listeners 38 um, prayer appearance on the cover of um, W Smackdown. Shut your mouth. Here comes the pain. Okay, he did it twice. My bad. My mistake. Okay. Okay. During his first run in sports entertainment, this is the first solo cover having shared the spotlight with other superstars oh yeah remember that i think that's an awesome cover i like it you know choose lesnar seem i think it's a girl move because he'd been dominating and uh hoopla given how much w is in baking on his former ufc heavyweight champion increase in the main street appearance appealing Lesnar to set making his return to the martial arts at July UFC 2000 pay-per-view against Mark Hunt. It will be the first bout since 2011 in a blah 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 in his early retirement. I guess he just want to uh, prove a statement anyway. I think it's a one-time deal. I think, uh, hopefully. Um, w agreed to the uh, one off opponent that Lesnar to complete in UFC. He remains under contract with W. Is scheduled to be part of SummerSlam in August. Pay per view. The former W champion has not been seen on the company programming since he defeated Dean Ambrose at WrestleMania 32 in April. Wow, that long ago? Because after that, WrestleMania are these average pay per views and they don't want to use them. And W2K17 is, is released to set October 11th. And 2K Sports appear to be, be I mean, beginning a hard pro promos push. It announced Gober has pre order exclusive in May. We all know that already. Former W Stars edition was seen as being simple. W2K15 pre order exclusive Sting would up. Okay, you guys know it already. Okay, 
I'm just gonna skip this a little bit. There has been no announcement on what new features will be added to W2K17. Now this is just my theory on the game. I mentioned this over and over. For the Survivor Series, make it a classic Survivor Series for crying out loud. Make an elimination style, they don't never do that. I think a lot of wrestling fans want that, but I think whoever owned the right back then didn't give a shit about the fans, about our opinion. Um, they really need to fix the online service. The online service for any w video game sucks ass. So, I don't know how much they can prove on these damn games for, for wrestling wise. The only thing is really different, in my opinion, is the damn roster. You know? Sometimes they bring back old school um, storylines, or not storylines, but modems and all good stuff. I would buy it, but I'm not really fired up in these wrestling games like I used to be, you know? Maybe because I'm getting so burned out, but I don't know, we'll see. I might change my mind down the road, you never know. But it comes out October 11th. So you could pre order now. You could get, um, if you pre order now, you could get um, Goldberg. And of course, you could get Brock Lesnar is on that cover, regardless, you know? So, whatever you want to do, my viewers, I'm not going to um, push you to um, get this game or pre order it. I mean, you don't have to pre order it, you know? That's up to you. But if you pre-order, you get this um, exclusive. But if you don't pre-order, you gotta pay it regardless, you know? If you want that exclusive. I don't know how much is it anyway. So, that wraps it up. So, that's an awesome commercial. That W2K17 and Brock Lesnar really nail it. So, one of my friends named Lucas, we discussed this earlier today. He says, too bad it's not Taker. I don't think Taker ever been on any video game solo. He deserves it. Maybe next year he'll be on the cover. That'd be awesome, you know? Put it like his urn and all his accomplishments. That'd be great, you know? What's your thoughts on next year's cover? Do you think I'm pushing it? I think that'd be a great idea, Lucas, next year. So we'll see if he's gonna be done with the W. Or they could still do it if he's not done with the W, regardless. So that'd be great. So I'm gonna wrap this up. If you like this video, give this thing a thumbs up. Give this thing, this video, some comments. If you're not subscribed to this YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button, share the video, favorite this video, and all that hoop a lot. So have a good rest of your day and enjoy Monday Night Raw. Three hours of pain. Oh joy. Catch you later on the flip side. Once again, thanks for watching.